All right. We're over here at Blue Planet Lighting, Las Vegas, Nevada. And I got a bit of a mixed bag. The good news is we have a brand new 2020 XMR 1000R. Brand new, still zero miles on it. Only been started twice as far as I know. A couple of times I guess I had to move it, but it is absolutely gorgeous. You can't really tell on the camera, but the green is actually really nice. It looks a little yellow on camera, but the pictures online just don't do it justice, honestly. It's really nice. And this back matte finish is really nice. But I just know this thing's gonna get torn up in no time. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna get scratched easy. So fast. I like this a lot. The, the back color, the gray is really nice on it. Oh, that's awesome. A uh, little ding in the seat, but they got a new seat for us on the way already. A uh, huge shout out to Gilbert at Ride Now on Rancho for getting us this literally in less than 24 hours. We uh, sent him a text because he already had his number from last time and he had one on the way in less than 24 hours. It was great. It was uh, over in Arizona. So they just threw it on a truck and sent it to us. From, from the time we told him we wanted it to the time it was ready to go, 24 hours. Yeah, super awesome. Uh, but the other part of the mixed bag is the bad news, which is the whole reason why we have this, is because this happened. <laughs> the 2019 got destroyed. Yeah, long story short, I uh, got in a wreck on the highway, and the trailer slid sideways for a, a very long distance. I don't know how far, but I wasn't really paying attention to that at the time. Uh, my ATV was totally fine because it was back here and had four ratchet straps on it. This one was in its usual spot sideways on the trailer with only one strap holding it down. And as soon as it started sliding sideways, that strap broke and this ran in right into the gate, ran right through the gate and tumbled over on the highway. And end over end at 65 miles an hour. Yeah. So pretty much everything on it's broken. You can see where the, the, the bumpers have been smashed into it, the, the snorkel shot. All the plastic is gone. Every every bit of the exterior plastic is gone. The uh, front A-arms are bent. The uh, rear A-arms are bent. Rear axles are broken. Bumper is broken. Our, uh, our lucky seven rack sure took a beating. That, that was on there for approximately one week Yep. before it got destroyed. Yeah. But the uh, gorgeous uh, rack. It was awesome. They're awesome racks. We, we love lucky seven. Yeah, I already got another one on the way for the in Manta Green for the new one. Yeah. It, it should hopefully arrive in the next week or so. Handlebars destroyed. All the controls, like say snorkel. This is just stuck in there for, for looks yeah that's just there for it's, looks it's not really doing anything. <laughs> but we have a plan uh, obviously the plan is to, to ride the replacement uh, ride until we can uh, hopefully part this thing out and uh, get it back together get new parts ordered get new plastic and uh, that way we'll have a, a spare renegade yeah and who knows might even uh Put a lift kit on it. Why not? <laughs> yeah, might as well. If you need all those parts, might as well upgrade them to better parts. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, that axle uh, turned more than the rear end. Yeah, I hope the differential's okay. Hopefully so. Hopefully so. But a lot of this is going to have to get replaced. I see a lot of uh, a lot of bends, a lot of twists. Plastic is no big deal. The little support arms are, are no big deal, but. Um, obviously the, those ARs and stuff are going to have to get replaced. Ooh, missing a beadlock screw. Yeah, it's hard to tell, but look at the, look at the angle of the back tire. Yeah. <laughs> now, believe it or not, we started it up. Oh yeah, it runs great. And, and James is <laughs> going to the tow truck. Maybe we can throw some video in there. We'll see.
Oh, yeah. I don't know if it's going to do anything or not. Oh, it totally will. That's uh, funny. <laughs> Still runs. So it's a little bit of a stake if we can't end there. Oh, totally. It's kind of a beating. Still, still drive and still start it. That was one of the things, knowing that the, the motor and the frame is so good in it, that's one of the things that motivated us to go ahead and repair it, fix it, and make it uh, bigger and better than it was before. Yeah, why not? It's just going to take uh, <laughs> Everything. A, lot, a lot of time and a lot of money to make it happen. Everything is so bent. Yeah. Crushed. But, once again... In the meantime, yeah. there's this guy. This uh, it helps ease the pain a little bit when you have a, uh, a backup plan. Yeah, a replacement right there, ready to go. I say, wasn't uh, originally crazy about the Manta Green, but once we got it and, and saw what a cool color it was, and, and I like the offset where it's not just a flat like the black and gray ones. It's in person, it looks a lot better. Oh, than, absolutely. Uh, than, than any pictures or videos online so far. And it's uh, kind of hard to tell. But the beadlock is a slightly different color than the shock, which is a slightly different color than the bumper, which is a slightly different color than that, which is a slightly different color than everything else. Yeah, and like your handlebars, that's like straight up green. Yeah, there's there's several hues on here, which is kind of surprising. I thought Can-Am would get a little bit closer with that, but yeah, that's all right. I'm sure they know what they're doing. Um, yeah. One of the weirdness with this versus that 2019 is obviously there's there's no uh, front brake lever up here. This is completely gone. What they've done is they've tied all the brakes in together. That along with the engine braking is uh, supposedly going to be enough. And they actually left out one of the brakes. One of the brakes is completely off the machine. There's this is not one there. Rear brake. Still got one on this side. Nothing on this side. Yeah? Well, everything else is pretty much the same. But it'll be fun. We're going to have to do a little bit of a break in on it. Then Just we'll, a little bit. Then we'll have some fun. It's a good uh, before, after. <laughs> Already got a new trailer. It's sitting outside. Yeah. Already got a new ATV. Gonna get a new truck probably tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, the, the truck got totaled as well. It's uh, it's history, so uh, we gotta go buy a new truck too. But then we'll be riding again. Yeah. Man. Yeah, the, it's hard to see on video, but everything is so bent. <laughs> it's uh, it's very twisted. I mean, one of the... Look at the handlebars. It looks like a sad puppy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not happy, but we'll get it going. Oof. They're so nice when they're new. Oh, man, they're gorgeous. <laughs> that ground clearance. The, it is a, it's a little quieter. Yes, it does sound different. It's not as loud as the, the 2019s, but we'll end up changing that. Yeah. Put exhaust on there. And I guess they run cooler too, because we had it running outside for several minutes and the fan never even kicked on. Just sitting there idling. Too much exhaust in here. And those crypt IDs or cryptids, however you say it, look real nice when they're new. Look at look how sharp the tread is. Yeah, those are aware of that down fast. There we go. Look how sharp that is. Those edges are like perfectly squared off. When look at this. <laughs> That's what the desert does to them. Yeah. You know, the rocks we have out here aren't very friendly on mud tires. That doesn't mean they don't go, that just means they wear out quick. They go great.
man, <laughs> it just looks so sad. Um, and hopefully we'll have some videos of uh, the repairs as, oh, yeah. uh, as we go along. Yeah, plenty of them. Putting the new parts on and all that. Do. And it should have exhaust uh, literally next week. Yeah. I'll be able to show putting that on mine. Yeah. The RJWC dual exhaust. Yeah. See how a uh, tuner works in conjunction with a stage one tune. Because the tuner should take care of my uh, fuel ratio for the exhaust while the uh, tune will let me go 90 miles an hour. Which is a lot of fun, by the way. You should totally, <laughs> you should totally flash that one. <laughs> 90 miles an hour on these is scary, man. Oh, it's terrifying, but it's yeah. so fun. It's a lot of fun. It's cool being able to do it. Give it a good flash and have some fun. Yeah. All right. I guess uh, I'll get back to editing video because I'm super, super far behind on video. Yeah. So. Make sure to subscribe. Desert ATV Explorers.